Hello, my name is Jason from septictank.co.uk and thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video today. In this video, I'm going to show you what a septic tank and soakaway are, how a septic tank and soakaway work, why a septic tank and soakaway become blocked, and then I'm going to show you how to unblock your septic tank and soakaway and keep them unblocked and save thousands of pounds in repair uh, and replacement costs. So, what is a septic tank and soakaway? A septic tank and soakaway are for properties not connected to mains drainage. A septic tank can be made from concrete, plastic or fiberglass. And soakaways are generally constructed from perforated pipe, gravel or soakaway crates. So, how does a septic tank and soakaway work? Well, it's quite simple. Wastewater is discharged from a property towards the septic tank. The wastewater then enters the septic tank from the house, fills up and then exits the septic tank via the outlet pipe. The wastewater then leaves the septic tank and enters the soakaway system. And from there, the wastewater makes its way through the soakaway pipes. And once it enters the soakaway pipes, it's then slowly but naturally discharged into the gravel and soil. So, why does a septic tank and soakaway become blocked? Well, the biggest problem is sludge. The sludge is made up of fat and grease. And over time, this sludge builds up from the bottom of the tank and rises upwards. In time, this sludge reaches the outlet pipe. And once it does so, the sludge then makes its way from the septic tank towards the soakaway pipes. Once the sludge starts to slowly make its way through the soakaway pipes, it starts clogging them up, blocking that wastewater and stopping it from flowing freely from the septic tank to the soakaway. As the sludge makes its way deeper and deeper, into the soakaway pipes. It completely clogs up the entire system, stopping that wastewater from soaking away naturally into the soil and blocking up your entire soakaway system. Okay, so at this point, you've normally got two options. Number one, you can continue to keep getting your septic tank emptied. For me, after 14 years in the business, that isn't a viable option anymore. Why not? Because it costs money, £150 a go typically, to get your septic tank emptied once every month, once every two months, once every three months. It's expensive and there's a better way. Option two, you can get your septic tank and soak away rotted or jetted. But for me, again, that's not a viable option. Why not? Because if your um, soakaway pipes are completely clogged up and blocked with grease, rotting them is just going to poke through the grease. People think if they get them jetted, you're going to blast all that grease and sludge out. But it's not true because soakaway pipes are under the ground, they're in the soil. There is no exit point as such. There's only soil surrounding them at the end of the pipes and around the pipes. So if you try and jet those soakaway pipes, it's just going to compound the issue, compressing the sludge and the grease and the fat together, making the situation worse. 
Okay, so if those two options, which are common solutions, aren't viable, what is um, the solution that's going to save you and me thousands of pounds in, in repair costs and saving having to replace and repair your septic tank and soak away? So, how do you unblock your septic tank and soak away? Well, worms have been eating and disposing of decaying matter and waste for thousands of years. Soak away worms are an incredible, safe, natural and organic solution. These soak away worms will not only eat and clean out the fat in your um, septic tank and soak away system, they'll also prevent it from ever clogging or blocking up again. Soak away worms are also very easy to uh, install and get in to your septic tank or soak away system. I've created a short video now which will show you how to get soak away worms into your soak away or septic tank or rainwater soak away and I'll also show you how they work. Step one, remove the septic tank lid and then pour the worms and bedding into your septic tank or the nearest manhole chamber. Once the worms are in the septic tank, they will then start to breed and multiply, burrowing into that sludge and making their way slowly towards the soakaway via the outlet pipe. The worms will continue to burrow and make their way through the sludge, continuing to work their way through those soakaway pipes through the sludge. In time, as the worms continue to breed and multiply and burrow through that sludge, they'll eventually penetrate your entire soak away system. The soak away worms will unblock your entire soak away system. Once the worms are in the soak away pipes, it's then that they really start to work their magic. Very quickly, these worms will start to eat that sludge unblocking and clearing the soakaway pipes, allowing that wastewater to flow freely once more, working their way back through that sludge, eating it and clearing it all the way back to the septic tank. Soakaway worms will also clean and unblock your septic tank. Whilst the worms unblock your soak away, they will also be burrowing and eating and cleaning out your septic tank, eating that sludge, fat and grease. Not only will they unblock and clean your entire septic tank and soak away system, they'll also keep them unblocked and prevent them from becoming clogged and blocked again. That in turn will allow the wastewater to make its way freely from the house to the tank, to the soakaway, and naturally into the soil. Soakaway worms will unblock your septic tank and soakaway. They'll unblock your rainwater soakaway. They'll clean your septic tank and soakaway system. They'll prevent your soakaway from ever becoming clogged and blocked up again. And they'll save you thousands of pounds in repair costs.